Hello, this is Pedro Molina speaking from MetaLab. Uh, today we are going to present you Kit as a tool for modeling user interfaces using web components. So MetaDev is a small st startup based on Seville, Spain. Uh, we are, uh, have a strong focus on tools for conceptual modeling, domain, doing domain-specific languages on the web, and building tools relying on code generation, model interpreters, model validations for, for different domains. So one of the problems we want to address is we wanted a tool to model user interfaces taking advantage of the, mm, the web components standards and seeing that there is a, a lack of uh, uh, modeling tools for this space. However, there are a lot of frameworks trying to implement web components in different ways. So we, we found a space to build something that could be useful. So Kit is a, a web-based tool that will allow us to prototype user interfaces. It provides a, what you see is what you get uh, editor for editing web components and will give you real-time feedback. As at any integrated development environment, it will provide you a test-based editor with uh, indented languages, color syntax, code completion, and we will provide also a catalog of components we can extend to incorporate more capabilities. Also, we will provide uh, code generation, as you will see, for different web components frameworks. As it is fully web-based, uh, the user needs to install nothing. Only a modern browser is, is needed to, to use Kit. Okay, let's go to see it. It's demo time. This is the URL for Kit. So um, it requires no access, no registering. So you can go directly there and, and test it uh, on your own. Okay, let's go to show it. Okay, um, let's start from the beginning. Okay, this is um, this is Kit. On the left you have an editor, and on the right you have a rendering engine. Here we have a component, and we are defining a, uh, an event, and then a label, a text box, and a couple of buttons. This is this component we are just seeing here. And we can edit in real time. If you change, for example, the filter name here, so you will see the changes reflected on, on real time. Uh, we can add more more capabilities here. You can add, for example, another label, okay, and then do the text and put something else, and you will see that this is appearing. We can change the layout. If we uh, clean this, now we have an error, a parsing error, and we will get the error in real time. Okay, here is the error. But you can also autocomplete with Control Space, and now change to vertical chain back to horizontal okay so you will see the changes on the fly also we have a catalog of components so for example if you want to add a new button just pick on the button you will see the properties and events and now drag and drop and the button uh, will appear here here it is the new button okay so this component apart from this uh, presentation of components we are also uh, implementing event handlers. So look at this click, it's calling search. Look at this click, it's doing clear. So whenever we search, the click is executing search. Search is emitting an event with a specific value. Okay, so this is the event we are, we are launching. If we clear, we will clean the, the value and the next search will search with no, no parameter. Okay, no value. So this is the, the definition of a complex component filter made as a composition of different other components, building blocks, and it's behaving as, as expected. We want to use this component just to implement the filtering. Okay, next one is this one for a listing. It's implement a group with a table and, and columns. And if you want, you can alter any column, changing the title, changing the, the, the alignment, for example, and say this will be center. Okay, so now this, this column is center. And keep going, uh, building it. Uh, this is another component for actions, very simple one. Another one for a data source with no user interface. This is just uh, no UI, but it will connect with a backend. 
And finally, we have a composition. The sample page is a composition with a layout vertical of a filter plus at a source uh, listing and actions. The idea here is that when you type here red and click search, you will look for, or you will pass this parameter to the data source. The data source will uh, call, make a call to server side to look for red things. And then on the table, you will get back the data associated with it. So we can keep moving and prototyping the, the UI. Okay. So good. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, the catalog has commented is extensible. As you are building the simple page, the simple page uh, will appear also here because it's just a component we can reuse and, and start using in other components. Okay. Uh, on this part, you will see dependencies. The sample page is composed by this, these other components and the event handlers we are, we are touching. Uh, this is the one, the graph for the, for the listing and this one is for the filter. So we are using GraphBiz to generate this on, on real time for the, as a projection of the, of the model that we are working with. Finally, the last uh, tab is for code generation. So we can pick, for example, native web components click show me the code and here is in real time you have uh, uh, in memory we are generating a, a model to test transformation to give you the source code for implementing this in javascript we have more frameworks like angular elements in this case is typescript and we here you will have the filter the markup the css and the typescript implementation for this uh, for example this one uh, this is native and web components plus system.js with a specific loader. We can download as a zip file with all the sources for you to explore locally and run locally. Or you can deploy into a StackBlitz. StackBlitz is a web EDI when you can put here all the files we just generated and this is, this is running in real time. You can play with it on the browser without needing to install a local development environment. It's a very, very convenient. So uh, we have um, different frameworks that as an output, as you can see, Ion Stencil, Polymer, Lit, on, on Preview. And the idea is that, well, we have prototyped the UI here, then we can generate it to any specific uh, web component technology you want to use. Or um, in, maybe if you want to skip the web components and go directly to go for jQuery or other kind of um, UI technology, we can add more as, as needed. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, whenever we press a key into the editor, we are doing parsing, okay? And we are achieving this because we have a high performance parsing uh, able to parse the full text in less than 200 milliseconds. So you should get all these errors in real time quite fast. This, this, this part of the, of the parsing model and validation is done under 200 milliseconds. So the user is getting real time feedback for what he is doing. Okay. If uh, the after parsing, we get uh, an AST, a star syntax tree and the model and pass the validation, then we will move this to the rendering engine and then put this uh, rendering on, on screen on, on the browser. We have a uh, interpreter for, for kit uh, kit models and then render it on the UI. That's the one we were been using. Later on, we can use this model also to do code generation uh, when needed. Okay, this is basically the architecture we are using with with Kit. So some more technical details uh, behind behind the scenes. Uh, Kit is using Essential. Okay, it's a meta modeling framework uh, we build at MetaDev. I will, I will talk a little more about this in, in next month. We will have another tech talk about, about this, so we can go into details later. Um, and we have uh, this kind of core technology to create models and DSLs on the web uh, and to do this in a fast and, and a cheap way. In this case, we have seen this technology applied to UI, but we can apply it to, to other domains. It's fully implemented using TypeScript and, and Angular in this case. And we are able to transform models and generate them either in the browser or server side. 
as commented before, the, the, the good thing about the web is that you don't need to install anything. You can work with uh, modern uh, Evergreen browsers and you are done. Nothing, nothing to install. Uh, we can do model transformation on the browser, but also on the cloud, on, on the cloud using Node.js. So some use cases, uh, we can define and compose UIs for fast prototyping that we have done before, for example, like atomic design, you can do for design. We can select a close catalog of components that a company will provide as an own palette of components to enforce a common look and feel and then use it. Also, uh, we can change the, the, the code generation output to generate whatever the, 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 what the user needs. Sometimes it would be web well, components, sometimes it would be any other kind of technology. Also, the interpreter that we use in Kit can be used to render the UI in third party applications. Also, So, we have been using Kit in industrial projects. For example, we build uh, the UI for the 80% of a bank, international bank, with uh, Everis, it's a customer from Everis, uh, and we were able to pick up a specific technology, a technology stack, and generate the specific things that they need for this bank, and connect the services using OpenAPI, uh, Swagger OpenAPI definitions, to be able to call server-side to get the data and send, connect the, the, the front-end with the, with the back-end. So basically, uh, we are working with this product, uh, helping to build UIs faster. And we are extending Kit also with uh, more uh, backends for code generation as needed whenever a customer needs some specific, specific needs. Uh, that's all. Thank you for, for following this transmission uh, and I will be ready for your, for your questions. Thank you very much.